Hello everyone, welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name is Lucy and today we're going to be going through a fit flow and we're going to be focusing mostly on upper body today. So our biceps, triceps, shoulders, everything from here up. And during this fit flow, we're going to be working with some more strength based poses and exercises. So it might be a little bit faster, a little bit harder than a normal yoga class, but I'll still be giving you lots of options throughout. So just do whatever feels good for you. If you need a rest at any point, know that you can have a rest and just do as much as you can and enjoy it. We're gonna start in a seated position today. And as with every, every yoga class, we're gonna start with the breath. So just bring your hands down onto your legs, sit nice and tall in the spine and then relax the shoulders. And just take a moment to check in with yourself, with your physical body and how you're feeling. Taking a moment just to leave behind anything that might have happened in the last few days, last few hours, and just bringing yourself into this moment on the mat. And we can do that by just focusing in on our own breath. So how does your breath feel right now without trying to change it at all? Can you notice if you're breathing into your chest or into your belly, or maybe just in and out through the nose? And just really bringing your awareness to that movement of the breath and where you can feel that movement of the breath. We're going to begin to just deepen the breath a little bit. So whenever your next inhale comes, see if you can breathe into your belly. We want to blow the belly up like a nice big balloon. And as you exhale, feel the belly as it starts to draw back down towards the spine. You can even place your hands on your belly to do this. So you can feel that movement of the breath moving in and out. Okay, and just take one more breath here in your own time. And then just gently bring your hands down onto the legs. Before we begin, just take a moment to set a little intention for your practice today. So just something that you'd like to leave the practice with. Maybe it's feeling like you've accomplished something. Maybe it's to feel grateful for someone or something. Just set that intention of how you want to go into the rest of your day. And we'll just seal that intention with a nice big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, slowly open the eyes with a nice soft gaze. As you inhale, we're gonna reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Good, inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, and then we're gonna bring your fingertips down onto your shoulders, elbows pointing out to the side. And we're gonna take some nice big circles. So see if you can draw the elbows down, forwards, up and round. So nice big circles. Don't worry if the elbows don't touch at the front, that's absolutely fine. Just do what feels good for you. One more in this direction. Lovely, and then we're gonna switch direction. So sending the elbows back, up and round. Good, nice big circles. See if you can move with your breath. We can take one more big circle. Lovely. And then when you're ready, we're gonna reach both arms up to the sky as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. So beautiful, well done. We're gonna roll over the legs now, coming into your tabletop position. So just bring your hands down underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, spreading the fingers nice and wide. And we're gonna start with some cats and cows. So as you inhale, drop the belly down, look up towards the sky. And as you exhale, round the spine, really push the floor away and drop the head. Good, inhale to look up and exhale as you round. Lovely, last one, inhale to look up and exhale to round. Good, come all the way back to a nice neutral spine. We're gonna warm up the arms and the shoulders a little bit more. So we're gonna take your right arm, sweep it forwards, open the chest as you reach up to the sky and draw it back behind you. Okay, we're gonna take two more like that, nice big sweeping circles. Lovely. One more, moving with the breath, nice big inhale. And exhale, drop that hand back down. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So inhale, sweep your left arm up and round. Good, exhale. Nice big breaths, rolling out through that arm. Good, lovely, one more. Beautiful, then bring both hands down to the floor. We're gonna take your right arm up to the sky as you inhale, and as you exhale, thread that arm through. See if you can bring your shoulder and your head down to the floor. Good, just hold it there, stretching out through the arm. One more deep breath. Lovely, and then slowly release. Bring that hand back down to the floor. This time, left arm is gonna reach all the way up to the sky. 
and exhale, thread it through. So side of the head and shoulder down on the ground. One more deep breath. Lovely. And then slowly bring it back. Good, from here, we're gonna tuck your toes and just come up into your downward facing dog, nice and slowly. So you want your feet to be hip width distance apart, hands shoulder width, and just gently start to pedal out through the legs. So just bending into one leg at a time and pressing your shoulders away from your ears. Just gently rocking from side to side. And then find a little bit of stillness to so just drawing your heels down towards the floor. As you inhale, come up onto your tiptoes. We're gonna roll it forwards into your high plank. Good, so you want your shoulders to be over the wrist and then try to push the floor away from you. Hold it there, engage through the core and then send your hips back up into your downward dog. You can do that one more time. Inhale to roll forwards into your high plank. Hold it there, push the floor away. Good, and then hips up and back down dog. Perfect, bring your knees all the way back down to the floor. So coming back into that tabletop position. Now from here, we're gonna take a couple of little half push-ups. So keeping your knees on the ground, take a nice big inhale, engage the core and almost try to tuck the tailbone under slightly. We're gonna lower the elbows towards your sides, come down halfway, inhale, push back up. Good, we're gonna do three more like that. Exhale as you lower, elbows in, inhale to push back up. Beautiful, last one, exhale to lower. Inhale, push back up, perfect. We're gonna tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back into that downward facing dog. Good, from here, walk your hands back towards your feet so you're at the back of the mat in your forward fold. And then just hold onto your elbows and just sway from side to side. Maybe shaking the head, yes or no, releasing any tension in the neck. Perfect. Then bringing your hands down to the floor, bend the knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing. Good, we're gonna take a nice big shoulder roll. Lift them up and back. As you inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold over the legs, dropping your head down. As you inhale, we're gonna come up halfway, nice flat back, and then plant your hands down on the floor. We're gonna walk it all the way back out into your high plank. Good, from there, we're gonna tap your shoulders. You're gonna tap your right shoulder with your left hand and back down, and then left shoulder with your right hand and back down. We're gonna do, keep doing that rocking from side to side, tapping those shoulders. And we wanna minimize the rock of the hips, so try to keep the hips nice and stable. Good, one more on each side, take your time. Good, well done. And then send those hips up as you walk your hands all the way back into that forward fold. Good, as you inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to your heart. Lovely, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhaling as you come up halfway. We're gonna walk all the way back out into that plank again, again, taking those shoulder taps. So we're gonna do two on each side. We're gonna right, and then left, right, and then left, and then walk it all the way back into that forward fold. Well done. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, we're coming all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up overhead and exhale, hands come down to the heart. We're gonna do that one more time. This time we're gonna do four taps on each side. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, walk those hands out, all the way out into that high plank. And we're taking four taps. Right, left is one, two, three, and four, and then hold the plank this time. Keep pushing the floor away. We're gonna drop the knees and take a couple of those little half push-ups again. So elbows in, lower down halfway, and push back up. We have three more. Move with the breath, see if you can exhale as you push up. Good, two more. Perfect, well done, last one. Good, and then take the knees out nice and wide, hips to your heels. Come back into that child's pose for a moment. Take a breath, allow the arms just to relax. You can jiggle them around a little bit if you need to. Hold it there, one more breath. 
Beautiful. So we're gonna come all the way up into your downward dog, tucking the toes under, send the hips up and back. This time from our downward dog, we're gonna drop down onto your elbows. So your head stays off the floor. We're just lowering the elbows down one by one. You want the elbows to be directly underneath the shoulders and your head floating on the floor. Good, can you send that tailbone up to the sky? Keep pushing the elbows into the ground, pushing the floor away. This is your dolphin pose. Good, hold it there. One more deep breath. Lovely. Now from there, see if we can come back up into your downward dog. So one hand at a time, press into the floor, back into that down dog. We're gonna come back down into your dolphin again. This time we're gonna give some dolphin push-ups a go. So we're gonna lower your elbows down. Good, elbows underneath the shoulders. And if you wanna give the dolphin push-ups a go, you're gonna lean forward, chin towards your fingertips, and then press it back. Good, we have three more of those. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. Last one, inhale forwards. And exhale back, well done. Drop the knees, come into that child's pose. Good, take a moment. Give your arms a little shake if you need to. That one's definitely a tough one. Take one more deep breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, we're gonna make your way back into your downward dog. So hands on the floor, tuck the toes under, nice and slow, downward facing dog. Take a nice big inhale and a nice long exhale. Good. As you inhale, we're gonna take your right leg up to the sky. So kick it up nice and high. Bring your knee towards your nose, hold it there, and then step that foot forwards in between the hands at the front of your mat. If it doesn't quite make it, shuffle it up to the top. Keep your left hand down and your right arm reaches up. So we're taking a twist, keeping that back knee lifted up off the floor. Good, hold it there. Lovely. Good, from there, bring that hand back down to the floor. And we're gonna come up onto the other side. So step this right hand on the inside edge of your foot and then your left arm is gonna reach up. Good, trying to stay on those back tiptoes. Good, lovely, bring both hands back down. Again, we're gonna reach your right arm up to the sky. This time we're gonna come into your side plank. So you're gonna roll onto your back foot. Your right foot is gonna shuffle its way all the way down to meet the left. If you wanna take a variation, you can always drop that left knee down and take a supported side plank. Otherwise you can have both legs straight. Good, hold it there. One more deep breath. Good, and then drop that hand down, come into your high plank, and we're gonna drop the knees. For the count of three, we're gonna lower down to the floor for three, two, and one. Good, as you inhale, you're gonna come up halfway. And as you exhale, we're gonna tuck the toes under, press the knees up and back, downward facing dog. Well done, take a nice big inhale. And a nice long exhale. Good, second side, you know what's coming on this side. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Nice big kick. Good, bring that leg forwards, knees to your nose. Hold it there. And then gaze in between the hands, step that foot at the front of your mat in between the hands. Good, right hand is gonna stay down, left arm reaches up. Nice big open twist. Good, well done, hold it there. Then we're gonna take your left hand down on the inside edge of your foot. See if you can find that balance and reach your right arm up to the sky. Good. Don't worry if you wobble or fall over, we've all done it before. Bring that right hand back down. We're gonna switch back to the left again. So left hand up to the side. And now we're gonna come into your side plank. So roll onto that back foot. Your left foot is gonna wiggle its way down there. And again, the option here is to drop that right knee down, or you can have both legs straight. Keep those hips lifted. You got this, one more deep breath. Good, and then both hands down to the floor. Well done, you have the option now to drop the knees, or you can keep the knees lifted. We're gonna lower down for a count of three, two, and one, good. Inhale to come up into that cobra, and as you exhale, we're tucking the toes up and back downward facing dog. Beautiful, nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. <sighs> Perfect. As you inhale, we're gonna come all the way forwards into your high plank. This time we're gonna lower down for a count of six. You have the option to drop the knees 
or keep them lifted. Again, elbows in for six, five, four, three, two, two, and one. All the way down to the floor, well done. We're gonna work into the upper back now. So keeping your hands on the floor, lift your shoulders away from the ground and press them away from the ears. So you don't wanna be pushing up too high, you just wanna be in a place where if you can lift your hands off the floor, your body won't move. Good, from there we are gonna lift the hands up. As you inhale, reach the arms forwards. Exhale, draw them back and lift. Good, two more like that, inhale, reach. Exhale, back. Good, two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, back, and last one. Reach it forwards and draw it back. Perfect, hands down on the floor. We're gonna press it back into your child's pose. Hips to your heels, forehead to the floor. Take a moment just to breathe there. See if you can slow down the breath, allowing yourself to relax, allowing your body to soften. Just taking two more deep breaths. Beautiful. Lovely. And from there, we're gonna come all the way back into your tabletop. Good, so knees on the floor, hands under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna tuck the toes under and just float the knees an inch away from the ground. So hovering them off the floor there. See if you can push the floor away from you. Good, holding this position. We wanna make sure the knees don't start to lift. We wanna keep them down. Lovely, holding there. One more deep breath. Good, well done. And then drop the knees down. Good, give your arms a little shake if you need to. Now we're gonna stretch out the arms and the upper back coming into our puppy pose. So keeping your knees at a 90 degree angle, slowly just start to walk your hands towards the top of the mat. You wanna keep them about shoulder width distance apart and then melt your chest down towards the floor. Good, don't worry if your chest doesn't touch the floor, that's absolutely fine. Hold it there, breathing into that lovely opening through the front of the body. Lovely, tailbone nice and high. One more deep breath. Good. And then we're slowly walking it all the way. Well done. Bring your toes together again, knees out nice and wide. We're sitting it back towards your child's pose, forehead down on the ground. So this time you have the option just to stay here in this child's pose. If you wanna come into a few little arm stretches, we're gonna take your left arm, thread it through to the right hand side, palm facing up, and see if you can just relax the side of your head on the ground, or your forehead, whatever you really prefer. Good. Hold it there, one more breath. Lovely, and slowly release. And then we're gonna take your right arm, thread it all the way out to the left hand side, palm facing up, and relax the head. Good, one more deep breath. Beautiful, and then slowly come back to the center. We're gonna walk your hands all the way up, bring your knees together, and then just swing them all the way around in front of you. Shuffle yourself into the middle of the mat if you've wiggled off like me. You want your knees up towards the sky, toes about hip width distance apart, and then bring your hands behind you, fingertips pointing forwards. So take a little soft bend through the arms first, and then start to straighten the arms and lifting through the chest. We're gonna press into the soles of the feet, and as you inhale, we're gonna lift the hips up, coming into your reverse tabletop. Hold it there. Can you lift those hips even higher? Try to refrain from dropping your head back. So keep your chin tucked into your chest so we all have that lovely little double chin. Good, hold it there. One more breath. And then slowly lower back down. Good, give your arms a little rest. From there, we're gonna bring your hands back down to the floor. Same position again, but this time straighten the arms, lifting the chest. We're not gonna lift the hips all the way up. We're just gonna lift them halfway up. Good, from there we're gonna take a few little tricep dips, so bending the elbows back behind you, and then press up. Good, we have three more, down and up. Down and up, last one, lowering down, and back up, and then sit the hips down. Well done guys, shuffle forward towards the top of your mat, so you've got some space behind you. Reach your hands forward, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, slowly begin to roll yourself back down to the floor. See if you can keep your feet flat on the floor the whole way down. 
nice and slow, coming all the way down to the ground into your Shavasana. So you can just straighten the legs out, allow the hands to rest, palms facing up, closing down the eyes. Take a nice big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And just do anything you need here to get comfortable. Maybe put a jumper on if you're a little chilly. Whatever you need just to find that nice comfy spot. Then see if you can relax all of the muscles in your body. Softening that space in between the eyebrows. And just taking this time at the end of the class to fully let go. Knowing that you have nothing to hold on for, onto. And just allowing yourself to be here. Noticing that flow of the breath as it moves in and out through the nose. And just letting go of any thoughts that might pop into your head. And if you want to stay here for a bit longer today, you're very welcome to spend as long as you need here. Otherwise, you can get up with me by wiggling your fingers and your toes or swaying the head from side to side. And then take the arms up overhead, take a nice big full body stretch. Beautiful, and then slowly rolling over onto one side, keeping the eyes closed. Just take a moment against the floor to check in with your body and your breath. And then again with the eyes closed, you're just gonna press yourself up to a seated position, nice and slowly, there's no rush at all. And just bringing your hands down to rest somewhere comfortable on the legs, sit nice and tall in the spine. As you inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, roll them back down. Take a nice big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Be grateful for yourself and your body for taking part in this class today and see if you can bring this wonderful energy with you into the rest of the day. Bow your head down towards your hands. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me, guys. You all did amazing. I hope you enjoyed the class and I can't wait to teach you again soon.